Hey friends, it's Mohammed Musadi. Welcome to my channel, Tutorials for Everyone, guys. Today is the third lecture of our training series for F5 Big IP LTM. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you that how you can activate your license and how you can set up the base configuration. So once you do, once you log in into your Big IP LTM, you will see that there are multiple options on your main page. That is introduction, license, resource provisioning, device certificate, and the platform. So once you click on the platform, you will see that that uh, the management IP which you have configured will be displayed here so uh, just bear with me it will pop up here you can see that the management IP which I have configured is just showing here so going, going back into the introduction tab you have to set up the utility and by pressing the next and you can see that I have to activate the license here so just press the activate just press the activate button and uh, if you remember that when you downloaded the iOS image you have also downloaded the registration key so you have to enter that particular registration key here and there are a couple of activation method that is automatic and the manual well I'm going with the manual one here so by selecting the manual I'll press the next so it will uh, receiving it will obviously receive configuration data from from the device it will take a while because it will establish a connection and then uh, we'll will proceed further so just bear with me uh, however meanwhile if you if you are liking this video just hit the like button and subscribe my channel if you are new and obviously if you haven't seen earlier uh, lectures uh, they are just available in the description as well and also in the i button right at the corner top right corner of this video so you can see that that uh, the connection has been establishing so um, obviously it will take you know few seconds here so just bear with me moreover if you do have any queries you can just mention in comment section so once you press the continue the connection has been established so you can see that the step one is dossier so you have to copy this dossier so let me show you that how you can do that by you can press control a here and click here to access f5 licensing server so it will go to the web server where you have to paste that particular dossier and once you paste the dossier you can see that I am pressing I am pasting the dossier here and pressing the next and once you press the next you will see that the ex uh, the ex agree agree sorry the license agreement will be displayed here and after the uh, legal agreement you will see that that the license has been established so I have to just copy all that particular license and paste on my big IP step 3 license here so once you do that you have to press next actually this particular this all configuration will be depending the speed of this configuration will be depending on uh, how good your VM is I mean the resources you have provided so actually I'm uh, a bit low with the resources here so that's why it's taking a while but don't worry we'll we'll go there finally inshallah and just bear with me moreover I just want to tell you that that in the upcoming videos will go with all the all the basic and in fact advanced uh, topics of this F5 so we'll obviously test our lab environment as well so do follow me on uh, this particular training series and uh, if you don't haven't if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it now and you can see that that it the configurations are being verified we have to we have to wait here oh it's taking a while yeah so now the again is establishing it's establishing a connection here oh please bear with me
don't skip the video here okay I know you are planning to do that but please don't do it <laughs> at least spot me just a few more seconds well I actually I don't want to fast forward it here because I just want to show you the actual steps here so that's why I'm not fast forwarding the video here otherwise I can do that as well just uh, approximately one minute has been gone and I know that your time is precious so we'll we'll go there finally inshallah we'll definitely go there yeah finally so the connection has been established so you have to just press continue and log in it again if I'm not wrong here no it's receiving the configuration from the data from the device so I hope the licenses license of this particular VM will be activated right here and it will show that license has been activated yeah you can see that so uh, finally <laughs> after a wait of a couple of minutes you can see that the local LTM license has been uh, activated and it's in the nominal provisioning so you can see that or because it, ha it has uh, multiple features so all the, uh, all the other licenses has also been activated here so then netting and all this stuff so we'll go further by pressing the next here so once you hit the next you can see that the, uh, the, at the top the LTM provisioning is nominal and the, li and the license status is licensed and moreover at the top you can see that the CPU utilization has been shown the disk utilization and the memory as well so just press the next and on the left hand side you can see that there is option resource provisioning the certificates and the network so in the resource provision you can see that whatever the certificate has been uh, installed in the device certificate you can see here well I'm going into the network tab and I'll show you that that how we can set up the network configurations so in this part you can see that there is a redundancy option but I'm not enabling it right here we'll do it later on so for now I'm just turning off uh, this option configuration sync and just press the next Uh, here you can see that I have to set up the IP address for the internal network so I'm giving it the management the IP address on the interface for the internal that, that is 10 to 0, 150 and the subnet is 255.255.255.0 and I'm allowing the default ports okay here and the, obviously let me show you the topology here you can see that the internal network is connected on 1.2 interface with the management with the interface IP of .150 and you can see that the network is internal I have to select the VLAN that is 1.2 and it has to be untagged so just add it here and click next now again I have to provide the external network here that is external network I have to provide the IP address and all that stuff for the external network so just bear with me it's going further yeah so this tab is for the external network you can see here okay so now the external network is 192.168 let me show you here 192.168.1.150 with a subnet mask slash 24 that is 255.255.255.0 and I'm just allowing the 443 here for the external network and I have to provide the gateway that is 192.168.1.1 for this particular network and the interface is 1.1 so I have to select the wheel yeah and it has to be untagged as well just add it here and you have to press finish so uh, you can see that the basics configuration has been set up we are moreover we can do you know you can see here that we can do DNS NTP all that stuff and also we can run the setup utility afterwards if I have missed everything if I have missed anything I can run the setup utility DNS NTP and you can see on the left hand side there are multiple options so in this way you can do the basic configuration I hope you like this video if you do please hit the subscribe button and bell, press the bell icon while mentioning your queries in the comment section thank you so much for watching it stay tuned